The okay. Las Vegas, Nevada, the MGM Grand. This is Double or Nothing, AEW's premier pay-per-view. I am the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black, and I'm alongside KT Quinn, I guess. How are you? I'm living the dream, my friend. How are you doing tonight? I'm enjoying the crowd, goddammit. Let me shut the door. Because I'm going to be loud. Yeah, me, me too. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to start off the night with a storytelling six-man tag team match. The lowdown on this story, Billy Gunn had a match with Evil Uno of the Dark Order. They went separate ways, but apparently Brody Lee didn't like how soft Evil Uno was getting. So right during the match between two, Stu Grayson and Jungle Boy, we're all leading towards that Brody Lee sent oh, Evil Uno out to attack Jungle Boy. Oh, I need to turn that down. So now the entire Jurassic Express... Yes, please. Thank What's you. going on? You need to turn your audio down on whatever you're watching. Okay, yeah, one, one sec. <laughs> I'll, tur I'll turn it down. But what a matchup this is going to be. Brody Lee in the Dark Order set to go ahead, go head to head with Billy Gunn and Lucha Express, or Jurassic Express, my mistake. This could be probably the best match of the night, but I can't be tooting my own horn. I can't wait to see what these two teams have to offer here at Double or Nothing. And, I mean, what are your thoughts on the match? Kyle. Hmm. Maybe having issues already. I just want to give a quick shout out and hello to Charlu94 and Mike and Ike for Prez. How are you guys doing tonight? What are your thoughts on this match, Kyle? He can't hear me. He can't hear me. What's going on? I was asking if what your thoughts were on the match. I mean, you gave some sort of a thought, but get the lowdown from you. It could go either way. Honestly, you got Lucha Express with Billy Gunn, and you got the Evil Order. Classic. Evil order. He said Evil yep. Order. That's great. You know what? <laughs> Fuck off. It's the Gabrielle situation all over again. <laughs> Little psychopath, how are you tonight? Oh, my God. Until a certain point. Yeah, sounds good. We know what the certain point is. Okay. This is going to be entertaining at its finest. And this man's over here next to me eating taquitos. Some great catering here. Say, hey, I love my taquitos. Such a good night here. Uh, yeah, sometime today this match is going to start. Is it still loading? Yeah! <laughs> oh, we're about to go. Wow, look here at this crowd we here, Kyle. I know, it's the packed crowd for double or nothing. Let's go! Get into the action. Oh. Oh, there's Mr. Ash shaking his ass. The following e Generation X theme, I like that. Introducing first. What can we say? He's an ass man. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Billy. I'm jamming. Right on. We got a pull going. Team Billy. Oh, Team Billy already taking the lead here. I can't. Mm. What a big start. In Los Angeles, California, weighing in mm -hmm. at 150 yep. pounds, General Here, Harry. This kid is a pure athlete from top to bottom. His father, the great Luke Perry. 
You know, I wouldn't mind seeing him run for the TNT Championship. Hell, maybe. I mean, right now, the, so the number one contender championship will be crowned. The Las Vegas crowd seems to love Jack Perry. Just none other than waiting for the Everlines. Look at him. A From Los Angeles, That's a whole lot of green. Hallelujah. Action. I came from parts unknown just to be here. That's great. The end of days. It could be the end of days for the Dark Order here tonight. This entrance of Brody Lee. The look on his face is just absolutely menacing. And we seem to be having technical difficulties with our fellow commentator. Of course, everybody seems to want to see Team Billy take the win. The results are in for the poll. Whoops. And their opponents, first, weighing in at 275 pounds, Harper. Brody Lee, making his way to the ring, one of the most menacing entrances I've seen in quite some time. Very, for a big man, this son of a bitch is quite agile. Could be one of the best. And of course, let me tell you that Impact Wrestling from last night is now on YouTube. God, things get working soon. Can you hear me? From New York, weighing 100. As he is now pounds, chomping on Tokita. How are they? Oh, here comes Stu Grayson to the ring. Brody Lee, the leader of the Dark Order, or Mr. Brody Lee, whatever you want to call him, finally made his way to the ring for a big man. Brody Lee is quite agile, don't you agree? Already happening, we can see Luchasaurus and Bridges going head to head. Seth, by the way. us if you're watching that would be like partner, make yourself noted i don't Canada. know hey kyle all right he's had an issue yep i don't know whose end it's on so He's very weird. Of course, I'm weird, so boss Hoss here. But we're about to get this matchup underway. Is Billy Gunn? Pay-per-view start. Here he goes. Sidewalk slam coming out of Billy Gunn. Great action so far. Reversal there by Brody Lee. Ready for him. Brody Lee's gone. Thing. That Billy Gunn throws at him. Corner, there's a tag. Here comes Luchasaurus. Oh, and eat a boot. 
Oh, oh that tackle right there. Making it right to Brody Lee. Great action so far. Hoisted him up with a... Oh, wow! Right back to the Jurassic era with that one. Oh! He was trying to make a tag. What a cheap shot there by Stu Grayson. All right. Beautiful right hand. Followed up by another. Whoa! Nice, there goes Stu. Missing wildly with that. Giraffe or Luchasaurus with a nice suplex. Another corner he goes. I think somebody might be looking to make attack. Oh! Oh, what a vicious backbreaker coming out of Grayson. Dark Order may have it here in this one. Luchasaurus. I don't play around with Luchasaurus. That man is gigantic. As Stu Grayson up on that top turnbuckle. God, Stu Grayson's about to go for a ride here at the MGM Grand. Good God Almighty. Beautiful superplex coming out of Luchasaurus. We're going to make attack. Oh, no. Here comes Jungle Boy. Look, look what he's about to do, going right to work. And of course, we will have an announcement by the AEW GM here tonight that you don't want to miss either. These two met already before, just recently. So they pretty much know each other quite well. Look at this athleticism coming out of jungle. That kid's impressive. Going for Grayson, trying to put him away early in this six-man tag. We have reached 1,000 views off. So thank you, everyone. I don't know what it is. Into the corner. Oh! Stay tuned. Stepping up with a beautiful Frankenstein. Right off into the corner. There's the tag of Billy Gunn. What are we about to see here? Sending him right off. Hit to us. Great work coming out of Jungle. Billy Gunn. Going for the cover here. Beautiful kick out there. Oh, close enough. Been there. Smart move there by Jungle Boy getting right out. This disqualification. We've seen that already on SmackDown for the women's tag team titles. What a night of action here on Twitch. Nobody wants to miss. Great work coming out of Billy Gunn. In the corner he goes. Oh! Nice shot there by Billy. There's a kick and a DDT. Jurassic Express, Billy Gunn doing a great job cutting off the ranks of Stu Grayson. Can't make the tag. There's the kick out by Grayson. What a match to kick off double or nothing. Everybody seems to have answers for everybody. Into the corner he goes. Stu Grayson being placed up on the top. <laughs> Look at him launch him. Oh, and he just falls. It may affect you both superstars. Billy Gunn. Going again for the cover here to put away the plant tag one. And Evil Uno makes the save. Trying to get Evil Uno out of the equation. Smart move there by Billy. Dude up to his feet. Oh! Stu Grayson trying to here he goes. A backbreaker once again by Stu Grayson. Jesus Christ, it gets more brutal each time I see it. Huge start to it. Six-man tag action here. For the kick. Billy Gunn with a nice reward. What's this? 
Oh! He may have it. Chicken Wang. Oh! Work by Steph Grayson, but Billy Gunn has an answer with a back body drop. Trying to go for the right hand. Oh, okay. Oh, and he just not Mama said it is up. What Mama said? What Mama 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 said? Oh, he's going for the ball and arrow. Oh, this may be it. One of the most lethal submissions I've ever seen. Oof. Woo! Nice knife edge chop. Oh! There he goes right to the floor. Here comes Jungle Boy. Billy Gunn caught up in the ropes. Oh, and there goes Jungle Boy to the outside. Oh, my God. Sending him off right into the barricade. They're taking this match all over the arena. Stu Grayson desperately in need to make a tag. Can he do it? Oh, no, there's a reversal. We're going to launch him. No, once again, take it through Grayson, trying to punch that bitch wide open. Six. Seven. Here he goes. One. Taking it right to... Oh, my God! That's it. Here coming out of Jungle Boy and receipts with that one. How'd he make the tag? Here comes Brody Lee. Oh, getting back right up. Nice. Going right after turn around. To the back. There's the tag. Oh, with the hip. Beautiful job. Now tagging in Luchasaurus. As he's waiting ever so patiently for Brody Lee's big ass to get up on his feet. Who are the biggest men in this matchup? Can he do it? Wait a minute. Had that well scouted. Great job there by Lucha Swords. Does he have a hold of him? Got him by the beard. Oof. Here goes Luchasaurus lining him up. There's the tail whip. Evan, no, Evil Uno makes the save. He's Evil Uno. Got him up. Here he goes with a nice Samoan and drop. Always looking to take him back to the Jurassic era. Brody Lee had that scouted pretty well. Bob of the ropes, he goes. Went for it, no dice. Good Brody Lee. Ooh, what a match, just fast paced. Not side of Russian. Luchasaurus going for the cover here on the Luno, trying to make use of something. Trying to make himself at least seem useful. Can't get the job done. Shut up! We don't need your commentary. He is taking it right... Oh, God, no. Nice headbutt. Woo-hoo! There's a kick. Oh, God. Bringing in Stu Grayson. Bringing it up. Trying to get them both out of the equation. Okay. Oh, I think Luchasaurus is trying to put this one away. Does he have him? Looking for a tombstone. Oh! Oh! Absolutely brutal. 
Luchasaurus going for the Brody Lee. Two. Owen Grayson with the set. Wait a damn second. Look at Jungle Boy. Oh, here he goes. Oh, what a massive slam. This might be it. Young Jungle Boy coming in. Where the hell's he go? Can he do it here? No one for the frog splash, and he's get up in time. I'm loving it too. Oh, and a discus clothesline tearing that son of a bitch's head off. Good God Almighty. One, two, and the kick out by Jungle Boy. Brody Lee. Up and around the world, look at this. Good Lord. Wow. Does he have Evil Uno? Oh, he's going for the sunset flip. Somebody's bleeding. Oh no, nice. Went for a super kick, missed wildly on that. Here comes Luchasaurus once again. Evil Uno, the freshest man in the dark. Might be looking to drop it on his head. He'll remember where he came from on that one. Definitely gonna remember where he came from. Luchasaurus is going for the cover. That might not be enough, Evil Uno. Well, this may be the end of the night for there for Stu Grayson. Oh, and he got out of the way. Trying to come in. Here's Billy Gunn. Here he goes. Famouser! Legendary Famouser. That's got to be it here. Going oh, Grayson gets by. Here's the tag. Oh, traditional work. Trying to go for it. Luchasaurus. What work! Mama said to knock you out. Beautiful right hand coming out of Luchasaurus. And there's Evil Uno again with a kick out. Grinding down Evil Uno. Evil Uno coming to life. Executing a stunner right there on Luchasaurus. No dice. Oh, knock your ass right out. He's just stomping the unholy hell out of the leader of the Dark Order. Luchasaurus. Oh, and it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and that's just unnecessary. What the hell is Jungle Boy doing? Not Harper Brody Lee. There is blood everywhere. Evil Uno back inside the ring. Going right after that leg, tearing apart every ligament and every tendon inside that leg with that move. Snapping it right on back. Oh, we tried. There's a chop block. Somehow, Luchasaurus is bleeding, but we can't really see. He's so damn green. Is it in ring work? I'm talking about green as it all oh, after that. Oh, what's this? 
Luchasaurus off in the corner. Egging him on, here he goes. Oh my, let's kick his goddamn head off. Oh, and why did nobody else try to get it? Oh, and eat one. Into the corner. Oh, gonna make a tag, no. God, he needs to. Here comes Billy. Wildly. Here comes Evil Uno. DDT to Billy Gunn. Rats. Yet another one bleeding. Oh. Wait, this young man ends up. God, he's miles away. Here he goes. Somebody needs to put away this matchup. Oh. Okay. Some stuff. He's, he's got a family, goddammit. Oh, great chopping at the leg. Oh, Harper's going for a ride. Getting him right out of the way with the sunset flip. This young kid flying. Oh, can he do it? Oh, and he connected. There's the frog splash coming at a jungle boy. On the cover. One, two, three, and... There we go, Billy Gunn and Lucha Express. What an impressive work. May have been long, but the point has been made. Great job by Jurassic Express and Billy Gunn. Oh boy, picking up the win for his team. What an athlete. Sure, let's go with all those names, except the, the bitch only got one name right. Come on. So we got ourselves a storyteller. These two th these two athletes have been at each other's throat. Kicked off in the bloodiest match. Thank you. But Dustin Rose, he's not coming to this ring alone because you never know. Well... Both of them aren't coming alone. Dustin Rose and Kip Sabian looking to bullshit aside. They're learning nothing. This is a match. I mean, Dustin Stor Rose, a storyteller, literally just tired of all these has-beens, as he put it, taking the spotlight from all the young talent. Dustin Rose is looking to shut Kip Sabian up, and he will take out Jimmy Havoc so Cody will take care of business. Silencing, I can even say Kip Sabian has a big ass mouth. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Dump Twitch. So let's go to the ring. Oh, oh, that's terrific to see. Oh. Levi Rhodes. No time on that one. Super back hip save. Oh, no dice. After a beautiful zigzag coming out of it. Cody Rose ready at ringside observing. Jimmy Havoc supporting his partner. Oof. Right. Great work there by Rhodes. We're going to send him off the roads once again. Oh, and there's a scoop slam. Beautiful work by the natural. Did he count that? Okay. We got a poll going up right now. Who do you think is going to walk away with the win? Oh! Beautiful work coming out of Dustin. Driving the elbow right between the eyes. Lay down. Into the corner. Always set up Kip Sabin. He's about to go for a ride. Oh, is that a Frankenstunner coming out of Dustin Rhodes? Right through the heart. Taking the elbow. Yeah. So either 
boat now. Austin Rhodes telling a story here at Double or Nothing. Doing a great job at that. He's always done a great job at that, even in his early days. But he was in. Beautiful job by Saban. Look at him, send him up. Saban gets out of it. There's a stunner. But there's a little fast press. Dustin eating a few right hands by Kip Sabian. Of course, the GM has an announcement here tonight. Lord knows when that's going to happen. Yeah, uh, well, it's not going to happen. So I'm ready to make that announcement this evening. And there's a... Uh, keep staying. The Stay GM tuned in and watch and find out. Here's our GM now. What's going on with you tonight, Spike? Uh, a lot of stuff going on in the back. Handling a lot of business. Amazing show going on so far. And appreciate everybody that's tuned <laughs> in to find out. Amazing matches. Then These matches get better and better. Here goes Dustin. We're going to hoist him up here, taking that kid for a ride with a ferocious suplex. Thank Amazing you. move by Isn't Dustin. It? Thank you for the compliment. Great pay-per-view so far. It has been a great pay-per-view. Into the corner. Oh, okay. Looking for the reversal. Headed off into a very nice vertical suplex. Good God, and everybody seems to want Dustin Rhodes to take the win. Solid choice. That is definitely what it looks like from the polls. Everybody's wanting Dustin. Does oh Dustin Lord. Rhodes deserve it? We'll find I out. I hope he does. Dustin Rhodes kicking Kip Sabian for the... Back oh. to the gold dust era of Dustin Rhodes. Nice. Wow. Getting kicked out. I'm surprised he could find his nuts after that kick. Uh, I don't think he has a chance. It looks like he's sleeping. Oh! What a drop kick. Dustin Rhodes pops in this matchup. That was an amazing missile drop kick from the top right. Didn't know Dustin had it in him. This kid, this, Dustin seems to reinvent himself every time he steps... Is he going for it? Looking for the final reckoning. Kip Saban with a reversal. Backbreaker. Kip Sabian on a warpath. Out of the line. Oh no. Slugging down Dustin Rhodes right down to his size. Back it up, but oh lord, I think he's looking for a drive by here. Spike and does it. Oh lord. Brutal missile drop kick to the side of the head. Good. What a gruesome match. Okay. We got another bleeder in the ring. Two. Close. Cody Rhodes pulled out the referee. The referee's yelling to Cody Rhodes. There's no ref. Oh, my God. Cody Rhodes saving his brother's ass. You see that spike? That was Thompson. I gave oh. Thompson just enough time to recuperate. Definitely so. Get, getting right back to the nitty gritty. Still wearing that <laughs> crimson mask. In the yeah. other corner. Oh. Don Dustin putting the foot right to the chest, just driving it down with aggression. I'm surprised Jimmy Havoc hasn't stuck his nose in. Wait a minute. Hip Sabian with a reversal. Non-stop action here, Spike. Taking Dustin Rose right off of his feet. It's definitely been an amazing evening so far. and It's just going to get better. Of course, we got the tag titles looking to be crowned here tonight. And of course, the TNT Championship will be on the line between... Oh! Between Matt Harvin, Hardy, and Pat. And of course, you don't want to miss the Women's Championship. Nyla Rose versus Awesome Kong. 
And of course, our AEW World Heavyweight Championship match between Kenny Omega and Deion Moxley. What a night of action here, Spike. Yes, it is. Amazing amount of action. Plus, my major oh. announcement that will be happening sometime this evening. And in the corner, Saban goes. Oh, okay. Saban. Oh, planted him face first. I don't know what the hell he's planning to do. Taking it right to Dustin Rhodes. Back it up by a whole country mile. I don't think he's going to make it that far if he's looking for that springboard for signature. Dustin to his feet. Oh, no, nice. Dustin has that well scouted. Like he's been through it before. Here he goes, hoisting him up. Beautiful final reckoning. One, two. Oh, and Kip Sabian with the kick out. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Impressive kick out. He did that with authority there. He's eating that. There goes Dustin. Again, lining him up. Doing whatever he can to put away this smart mouth son of a bitch. Going for the bionic elbow. What? Change of his father. Dusty Rhodes will be proud of these boys. Here he goes. Oh, and he got it. Beautiful final reckoning. Can Dustin Rhodes put away Sabian? Oh my God! Another kick out. That is the second final reckoning. Wow. <coughs> Unbelievable here, Spike. This has been amazing. I can't believe both these competitors are putting it all on the line to show who's the best. Storytelling matchup. Here goes Dustin. Oh, no. There's the knee. Trying to get after him. Not a smart move there by Dustin Rhodes. Oh. Okay. Dustin Rhodes, I think he's looking to put him away here. I don't know, he might have to dig into his bag of tricks to put away this young man. He's got a lot of athletic, athletic prowess here. That's it! That's gotta be it! And he got him! Amazing win by Dustin. Absolutely a storytelling match here on Double or Nothing. Okay. What a terrific match. Kip Sabian kicking out of two final reckonings. But a third one definitely put that smart mouth son of a bitch out of his misery here tonight, Spike. All I keep can keep amazing. And of course, we got so much more action coming your way. Coming up next, the AEW Tag Team Championship matchup that we've all been waiting for is coming your way. I'm so excited for this. So we are going to take a quick commercial break, an ad break, and we will be back with the action. I got to turn the entrances on. That's running. Okay. I gotta turn the entrances on. His Wi Fi has shit the bed, dude. He said I'll try to be on, but the Wi Fi hit the bed.
We're working on it. We're working on it. I'm gonna work on it. Oh, coming up next later, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait. That is right. Proud and powerful. Take Young Bucks for Tag Team Championships. And we might be getting some sort of fellow commentator. I'm we will just have to see. This is going to be a terrific matchup. Who do you want to win? We will have a poll running up here in a momentarily. Just bro. Just bro. Dream match for the titles. Couldn't get any better than this. Here in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada for double or nothing. Can't wait. I am just absolutely excited. Lay your eggs. And this is not the only crowning of championships we are going to see. We will have the I know, the women's championship, Nyla Rose and Awesome Kong, two big behemoths just about to go head-to-head -head with each other. And, of course, the AEW World Championship. Right on. And, of course, we got the pull-up. Who should be the new tag team? Should it be Proud and Powerful or the Young Bucks? Go ahead and vote now. Sometime today, this matchup is going to take a... going to start. I smell dinner. Mmm. Something's cooking here in the MGM Grand. I love the catering for AEW. They're so fancy. They're just so fancy. Ugh. Smells like they're cooking hamburger helper in the back. Just so fancy. Anyway, great matchup coming your way. Bound to be fast-paced and brutal. Of course... So far, in two matches, blood has been drawn, and there's always been bad blood between these two teams. Or maybe I'm thinking of another team. I'm not sure. But they're in. Ding, ding. Well, this apparently going to take a sweet-ass time. Wow. We're going to get a grand entrance in the MGM Grand. Because this is the music of a uh, proud and powerful. On the way or to power the and ring, glory, as somebody put. At a combined weight of 389 pounds. That's Angel kind of funny. Ooh. And Santana, power and glory. A very competitive poll we got going on here. Young, young Buck seeming to be in the lead. Proud and powerful, trailing by a 40%. Look at the crowd, the brass ring here in AEW. Going to be proud tag champs coming in if they win. Here tonight, when they approach Dynamite, and, and the Young Bucks opponent. seem to be the winner of the poll. And here they come. It's going to be a super kick party up in this son of a bitch. And Nick this should be in a very intense match. Both competitors, all four competitors in the ring are all well-oiled machines. And it will be amazing to see what happens here. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. Oh, here we go. The showcasing of the AEW 
ta World Tag Team Championships here, Spike. And you know what? <laughs> I can't see it. Oof. Yes. Look at him. Who will be the new Tag Team Champions? Here they go. Oof. Those belts have a shine to them, god damn it. Ooh. Ortiz starting out against Matt Jackson. Mm. We're going to get it big here. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Wasting no time on that one. No dice there. Getting right ahead of Matt Jackson. Reversal of the Irish whip. We're going to climb up maybe. No. I don't tell him to suck it. Here comes Ortiz. Trying to get ahead of it. Beautiful move. There's the drop. They're sending right off the ropes there. Went for the elbow. No dice. Matt Jackson with a nice right, or left hand, sorry. Oof. Thank you everyone for enjoying the show indeed. Always trying to make the tag. Can he do it? Here comes Santana. Going to see great tag teamwork. Brian, proud and powerful. Oh, and a Bronco Buster coming out of Ortiz. Ready to go for it. Oh. Great job making the save. I can honestly <laughs> say Brian Powerful does have an amazing ability to work with each other it's just excellent to watch them in the ring before definitely is here goes santana look at a fly already oh and he connects i don't know how the hell he made it all the way over there though oh what a brain buster i think he's doing too much Santana looking to send Jackson off the ropes once again. Oh, he, <laughs> he fooled him. He fooled him. Where the hell Santana going? Right to the outside. Oh, my God. Don't play around too much. Oh, and he connects. Somehow, someway, that connected. Great work. Three. Mm -mm. Yeah, just forget about the crown of the tag team. Chips. I'm kidding. That Jackson spiking Ortiz right into the apron. Ortiz, the legal man. Very unique tag work coming out of proud and powerful. Man. Trying to cut him off. Can he do it? No dice. Here comes Nick Jackson. He wa he tried. Put it. Oh. He can't even connect. What an idiot. Oh, wait a minute. He tried. Whip it, Angel Ortiz off into the corner. Oh, okay. Nick Jackson hoists it over, leg drop to the back of the head of Ortiz. Can he make the tag here? God, can he make the tag? Oh, and he got it. Jackson missed. Here comes Santana. What a match. Oh, wait a minute, had that reversed. Pantana going up and around the world. Oh, nice arm track. Using that as an offensive maneuver. Yes, that is right. The GM's major announcement is coming up next. Oh! He's lining him up. 
I think Santana's looking to take off here, ladies and gentlemen. Coming out of the airport. Oh my God, he got a ball. He connected with both of them, God damn it. That was impressive. Picking that up both impressive. those guys like that. Very crazy. Into the corner goes Nick. We're gonna make a tag. What is this? Great drop. Here goes Ortiz slinging himself over, putting his body right on the line. Ortiz going for the cover on Nick. Trying to pick up the tag titles. There's the kick out. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Double or Nothing. Wow. Thank you so much. So oh. impressed with this evening. Can't get any more. Can't get any better than this. Got Matt Jackson out of the way. Taking him out with a vicious right hand. Oh, that was a clothesline from hell. Here he goes. Ortiz cinching him up. Oh, he's looking for a trifecta paying tribute to the late great Eddie Guerrero here in Las Vegas with none other than the three amigos. The three amigos. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. God, don't do it, Ortiz. He could break his goddamn leg if he... Oh, no! Tried once again, missed wildly. Almost went right over the head of Nick Jackson. Okay. Right in the ambulance. An ambulance. Oh, and a leg drop right on the concrete. Good, sweet God. What are you trying to get mad at? Oh, great job on the medical suplex. Nick Jackson needs to get in, but Ortiz coming back out. I think Ortiz has something in mind here tonight, Spike. He definitely does. Seems like it. Here he goes right up into the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Matt Jackson had it well scouted. There's a drop kick. Oh, he's paying tribute, all right. The Mamacita. There we go. Headed right off the ropes. There's a drop kick. Nick Jackson already wearing the crimson mask here, Spike. Again, another person that's been busted open tonight on this show. This is the that's best blood I've seen in a while. Oh, okay. He missed that one. There he goes, driving him. Beautiful work. Doing a great job cutting off the Jackson brothers. They don't seem to be 100% entering this matchup. It definitely seems that way. They get a tag once again. Here he goes, driving the knees straight into the chest. And Jesus in heaven.
What a matchup here. Here he goes with a lion saw. Beautiful lion saw coming out of Nick. Now he's headed up. Santana's up instead. These men are absolutely putting on a clinic for these titles. Yes, they are. Oh, and there's a power slam. One, two, and the kick out once again by Nick Jackson. The kid is so resilient. It does seem like the Jacksons have a lot of energy left in them and are able to kick out. Oh, and he connects with a drop kick. Taking him off right into the corner. Nice Irish whip. Here's the tag once again. We're going to see great work come out of Proud and Powerful. Oh, boom, Shakalaka. Here he goes with the Northern Lights. There's the cover. Nice bridge coming out of Ortiz. One, two, and the kick out again by Nick. Good God. Where is he getting it from? I think he's getting it from his stomach. Over here to the neck. Here they was gonna be it here. Like, soup, oh brain buster. And there's a frog splash. Here we go, one, two. Oh, we got check out. Oh, getting it from. I'm it's coming from his nuts. Jesus. Here goes Santana backing up. Never seen somebody like the news. Oh, right to the face of Nick Jackson. Can't get any better than this. Oh, with a big boot. Just drove him straight to hell on that one. In the corner once again. Wait a minute. And that scouted. Tossing him right to the outside. Where the hell's Nick go? Here goes Nick diving through the turn posts. Beautiful DAT to the outside by Nick Jackson. Here this crowd's <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Good Lord. Oh, and he connected. Don't piss off Santana. It seems unfazed. Oh, here's the tag once again. This time, rules reversed. Santana hoisted him up. Beautiful brain buster. Here comes Ortiz with the frog splash. Need to get him out of the way. He needs to get Matt out of the apron or off the apron. Can he do it? He's going for the cover on Nick Jackson. Does he have him? One, two, three, and we got new champions. Impressive pickup win by Proud AEW, brand new tag team champions. Dominating performance coming out of Proud and Powerful, absolutely amazing. Mm. <laughs> But what a matchup this was. Proud. Way to go, boys. Thank you. Amazing indeed. It was a great match. But ladies and gentlemen, let's hear what our GM has to say. Oh, the heart of the night that I've been worried about for World weeks. The heart. Unfortunately, as the GM of a, a, the new a, AEW general manager, his name is Martin Nelson. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you look, direct them at him. At this time, I'm out. Mm. Well, that was a mat that was an announcement.
Hope his headset isn't broken. Low key. I kind of think he, I kind of wish it was. Uh. Yes. But anyway, after this, we're. Wait a minute. We're about to hear something from. Who the hell is Brian Cage? Brian Cage has something to say here, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even know he was signed. Apparently must have signed a contract right before the start of the show. Because that wasn't on my paperwork. I'm hearing it from production that Brian Cage definitely has something to say here tonight. He's, I guess he might be looking for a match. to make an impression here on the new, now new AEW management. Let's go to the ring and hear what he has. Brian Cage. If you would look at the Twitter... I mean, Brian Cage, bait, just, well, just took a lot somebody in the back, and now he's here. That's a big son of a bitch. Well then, this man has some venom in his voice, thinking he's the next, he's like the biggest thing since sliced bread. He's going to have to take that up with MJF. And I don't know what company he was in before, but now all of a sudden he's invading a fucking huge pay-per-view. He's looking to, he's about to have a match here, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking to make quick work of whoever steps in the ring before him here tonight. I mean, that is a fucking behemoth right there. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Well, Brian Cage has said what he's had to say. And right now, he's about to go one-on-one -on -one with the MMA, le or with the undefeated in MMA, current MMA fighter, and a part of the inner circle, Jake Hager. That's right, Brian Cage and Joe one on one. This one's bound to be hard hitting. Jake Hager, currently undefeated in MMA, and Brian Cage is just a goddamn behemoth. Two of the biggest men on this roster. running out but we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back the action will be started I've noticed the GM's departure has caused some chaos here
And of course, I think we're going to have a poll. Is Brian Cage just going to make quick work of Jake Hager? Well, you'll just have to stay tuned. Well, Brian Cage. His way to the ring from California, mm -mm. weighing in at oh, 286 pounds. Not here. They're not even going to make it to the ring. Hager drop kicked him. He didn't budge. Oh, Waller just going at it right on the rampway. Oh, and Hager caught him rock bottom on the rampway. Jesus Christ, what a catch by Hager. I don't know how he managed to catch up, pick up that behemoth. Oh, he just told him to suck it. Oh, don't play around. Don't be playing around with Brian Cage. Oh! Oh, don't tell me that. Off of the ropes. Drop down there by Cage. Another drop down. Hoisted him up. Oh! Okay. It might be a pause when the controller batteries are tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hager. Taking the elbow. Hey, Hager missing wildly on that. Good job, idiot. Right. Oh, what a nice Northern Lights. Great work there by Jake Hager. There is a pole up and running. Is Cage gonna make quick work of Jake Hager? Going off the ropes, here goes. Oh, and the ref. The ref taking a breather. Pull up and running. Go ahead and give a vote on that one. Brian Cage with a kick across the face of Jake Hager. Oh, the cover. Oh, oh and there's a kick out. Uh-huh. Jake Hager hoisting himself up. Beautiful stunner. Right? There's a snap once again. Oh! Seems that Daniel Cole is going to join us here. Not that Aussie dumbass. Big Hoss. Oh, wait a minute. It's Hoss. God damn it. Who let him in the ring? I'm not in the ring. I meant in the arena. You know what I meant. Oh, and he just pulled right back. God damn bastards. I'm just here with my chocolate iced coffee. I'm pissed off. I thought coffee. Of course, I've got a new boss. Thanks for that. Good. He's got Come a new on. boss. Oh, what's this? Oh! First, we already got a good working relationship with that boss anyway, so good shit. Fuck. Mainly I'm just wow. pissed off. My internet broken. My grandson couldn't fix it. So I kicked it. Hard to work. <laughs> now I got some chocolate. But god damn it is not wish I had right now. Oh, oh. Well at least we know we have coke heads in the fucking in the in the company. Behaw, long tactics. What the hell is this? Stepping up! Oh my god! god Superplex to the outside! Bye, Hager. Thanks Take a for nap! Dude's dead storm. I don't think those masks could protect on a superplex like that. Hell no. Nah. Ryan Cage taking no little to no offense, but definitely clotheslining the living hell out of 
Brian Cage flying? He's climbing to the top. Of course, the result of the poll the was no. They thought Hager oh, no. was going to be in this, but god damn, that's not the case. Brian Cage is here to kill people. That's all I can say. I so. Hoisting him up for the suplex. Oh, he switching his hit into a pile driver. Oh, bullshit. Oh, here hey. he goes. Oh. Hey. Hager is about six feet tall, or seven foot tall. He would be able to reach the rope with his big ass feet. Here goes Brian. Oh, wait a minute. Jake Hager hoisting him up. Looking for him. Oh! Well, that was unique. Great move there That's by Jake Hager. It's almost like a fisherman's driver. Sure. And a great pay-per-view so far, Hoss. I don't know if you were in the back watching. I was trying my best, but the connection keep cutting in and out. Uh, well, the sixth man was won by Billy Gunn and Jurassic Express. First, that'd be good. Dustin Rose picking up another win. Great man. Absolutely uh, true. We have new point. tag champs. A proud and powerful. Assholes. They also are they still associated with Jericho and this bad man? I think so. A part of Inner Circle. Oh, what work! Beautiful oh. maneuver coming out of Jake Hager. So Sammy Guevara also in action last week was also part of the conglomerate. Conglomerate of assholes. <laughs> you do not like the Inner Circle, do you? No. Wait, he's going for the ankle lock. Although I will have to go for Jericho against that weird demon thing on impact. But that's another day, another matter. Oh, Brian Cage trying to fight out of the ankle lock. Being executed by Jake Hager. He got it. I think he got it. That's broken, though. Oh. Got okay. Eight. Cage he was just about to tap to that there. Wow. Thought he was too. Brian and Cage headed over. I don't know how much Brian Cage weighs whatsoever though. Oh! -ho! Beautiful work coming out of Jake Hager. Taking on bigger men than this in the MMA. Oh! Undefeated man. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he spiked him right into the post. He needs to put this young man out of his misery. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Holy shit. <clears throat> Here goes Brian Cage. Oh, and that's it. hard Texas. That was in horse. God damn. Hager got more in this match than Alexander had in that other match. Ha! Oh, beautiful clothesline. Neither of these sons of bitches want to be put away by the other. Ha <laughs> ha, what a match here on Double or Nothing. These two seem to have an answer for everything thrown at them. Wham. Oh. oh, he's looking to end him. I think he's looking to end him here. No! Jake Hager. Hoisting him up. Beautiful power bomb. Cage back up. Why is he climbing? Why did you climb? Look at the fly here. Oh, no dice! Are you kidding me? He needs to get his ass up. Trying to go for the ankle lock once again. Oh, 
he's gonna tap out quicker than unholy hell. Jesus Christ, Cage. Jake Hager's MMA style was a match for the old, well, the very, very huge Brian Cage. Well, not only that, Cage is an expert at dominating his opponents, but when you've got to face someone that's a bit bigger than you, has a bit more weight on you, it can, he struggles to find a rhythm. Here is your winner, you can struggle Jake to put him away. Hager. Such a disappointing debut for Brian Cage. But coming up next, well, so far, the inner circle has, has the wins here tonight. Coming up next, that is shocking. I didn't expect him to win either. That damn. <laughs> anyway, coming up next, the TNT Championship is on the line here, Haas. And you know what? This one's going to be good. Pack. Will be going up against the very much reigning and defending TNT champion, the broken Matt Hardy. Please put him away. Put the old man out of his misery. Both well, him, Matt Hardy both Hardy has... and both, both both Hardy and myself included. To be a fantastic matchup, the TNT champion, the only active championship. Well, now the tag titles, but current. Before the pay-per-view was the only active championship, and Hardy's been defending it for quite some time. I think Pac is looking to take him out the pasture and put a bullet to the head. And that was a reference to you. You know about pastures, you know about putting things down. Well. Technically, you're right, Charlo. Technically. I mean, he's... Two, oh, oh, and one, because he got. Yeah, he did come to a draw. No, it's not, Let's not go a draw. It was a no contest. Oh, go. Guess what this is, right? Pack doesn't want to screw around. He just wants to claim that championship and kill that hard. That black arrow would damage anybody. That black arrow is fantastic. Some great work out of these two men. He's slinging him off into the corner. Beautiful job. If I was Pac. Hardy, I wouldn't, be, wouldn't go blow for blow with Pack. Oh no, definitely not. Scraping. Nice. Of course, I right. also got the pull TNT up. Champion. Of course, that question being answered in the poll. Please go. Oh. Mm. On his feet. Beautifully executed jawbreaker. Trying to run for it. Oh, with the. Starting off strong here. Oh! Beautiful work. Driving the elbow through the heart of the bastard. I know. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Holy shit. What a move there by Pack. Over oh, the ropes there. Drop down by Pack. Beautiful leaf frog. Oh, what a move. And there he goes up and around. Oh, what a DDT there, Hoss. Very traditional, very unlike Pack. He's just looking to do anything to win. Nice right hand coming out of Hardy. I hope to God he does win. Kaido changing hands here tonight. Oh! What a dragon suplex coming out of the bastard! They went for blow for blow with each other. They seem to have an answer for everything. Stepping up, beautiful job there. Pack already headed to the top. He might be trying to look for the black arrow already. I guess not. Oh, 
what a move. Here he goes. Oh my God, it gets better each time. Pat going for the cover. And Damascus kicks out, yes. Of course, Sherb Spike just informing everyone that even though he's stepping down as the AEW general manager, he is actually getting a promotion. So don't feel too bad for him. <laughs> getting a promotion. <laughs> Go for the cover. <laughs> and there's the I mean, he, he, I mean, I'm ignoring the fact that he said he's already in that role, but it's he's, he's working his promotion full time. Beautiful suplex coming out of Pack once again. Looks like the crowd's on Pack's side to win this match. Don't know why the bastard has everyone support. I mean, Pack's a great athlete. Yeah, he's but going he's a bastard. With Hardy. He's I know bastard. he's a bastard. He's a great athlete. Pat Hardy going for the cover here on the bastard to retain. No, and the kick out. Oh, in the elbow. Oh, here he goes. Side effect. Beautiful job. For the cover here. One. And the kick out by the bastard pack. That is one resilient son of a bitch, which made him a great cruiserweight champion over in that other company. Uh oh. Ooh. Hardy stepping out. He's not safe out there, Hoss. Here goes Pack to the outside with a two-piece suicida. God damn. Three. At least short spike. You would have. You will be missed as a GM. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? He's coming in with a goddamn chair. Oh, they don't Hold on, the sure the NFT GM is happy as now long now his show is no no longer under threat of attack. Oh please. Pat Hardy. Boy knows what he's planning to do. Oh, and a step up in Sagir. He's looking ahead up there for that patented black arrow here, Hoss. Black oh, arrow, connected. black arrow, black arrow. One, two, two, we have a new TNT champ. That's right. That's the way to go. Hell yeah. What a match. He's a bastard, but god damn is he impressive. Oh, he should be god able to hold on yes. to that title for ages. We'll see there's a lot of hungry competitors on the AEW roster that definitely want a shot at that TNT Championship. And I even pointed out in the beginning, Jungle Boy being one of them. Whoops. God damn, what a great show. It has been a great show. Here is your winner and new I mean I don't think it's going that far. Little socks champion. <laughs> Probably holding that TNT gold. Yankee. We're just seeing everything record. brand new here tonight. Still yet to crown a women's or world champion, so keep keep tuned. Rightfully so. The crowd definitely not happy that Tack beat Matt Hardy. Or the why the but, hell do we have an unfinished title? Wow. We're gonna hell. move on. We're gonna move on. God damn. 
<laughs> don't ask my questions. I don't know the answer to. But <laughs> coming up next, speaking of the women's championship, it will be decided here in the finals of the women's ta or women's championship tournament. An awesome Kong versus Nyla Rose. Let's get your thoughts here, Haas. This is this is a match you've been waiting for. Of course, should be extremely important in shaping the women's division. Although, I have to say that both of these women seem to be a very particular type of champ. Well, Seems that either way, we're going to have a dominating champion. Run a commercial. <laughs> this fucking guy. Okay. Well, I can't wait me. for this matchup. No, not you. <laughs> but these two, wow. This is going to be a hard-hitting matchup. These women are Goliaths. Oh, there, while we are running, an ad, I'm just going to duck in. Hello, Daniel Cole. Hey, WG. Yeah. Yeah. You know me. Anyway, I'd just like to also pass You said my AED. You were about to say AEW. Uh, uh, I could. No, of course. Congratulations to Martin. I hope you'll do an excellent job. Uh, but I'm also passing my congratulations on to Tom Spiker, the 4 WDM, for doing a job and being my oh, driver on. in the premier weeks of both Mocho, NXT, and AEW. Starting. And Starting now, now got apparently no rolls taking on awesome calm. Oh yeah. Impressive work already by Nyla Rose taking it right. This bit was calmer for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Ask the AEW. Almost like you don't change the thing. Not the old one, the new one. <laughs> yeah, Taking it right up to the floor. Oh no, nice, awesome Kong getting out of the way. Went to bitch slapper. All of this for the AEW women's. Yes, there we go. We do have a poll up and running here. Who's going to be the new women's champion, Kong or Rhodes? Whoops. There she goes. Oh! There was whiplash on that one. There was a lot of whiplash on that spl or that splash there, Hoss. Indeed. Oh! Around a lot of power in this match. Could be quite prolonged or very short, given the propensity of both athletes being quite evenly matched. Would be here goes. Oh, with a rolling senton coming out of Awesome Kong. I didn't know the bitch had it in her. And now she's talking shit. And she hasn't even been a world champion. Oh, yes. Here she goes. Awesome Kong hoisting her up. Beautiful Samoan Valley driver. And yes, that's my way of calling it. Nyla Rose headed up. Why the hell is she headed to the top rope here, Hoss? Oh! Well, that connected. Oh, here she goes. Oh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Beautiful job there by Awesome Kong. Had that German suplex well scouted. And now she's taking control of this women's matchup. Going for the cover here on Nyla Rose. And there's the kick out by the Samoan Beast. The native beast. <laughs> Samoan native either. I, she, I think she's of Indian descent. Not oh. Samoan. Nice left drive. Check out. She might be. I may have misspoke. Both of these women going back and forth with each other. Both hungry for that AEW Women's Championship. Does she have her? 
Here she goes. Oh, with the slam by Awesome Goddamn Kong. She's looking to end her. Awesome Kong headed up to the top rope. Hope the ring is reinforced. Oh, okay. Okay. Taking it right to her. Awesome Kong sending Nyla Rose up into the corner. Here's Oz. Oh, okay. Of course, she's is of Native American descent. Being, <clears throat> being from the one E of that tribe. I probably butchered that, but wow. yes, is indeed from the First Nations people. Okay, so Native Beast, I misspoke. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. You will never hear me apologize. It's a great repre is a great representation for both the transgender and oh. Native American community. Rightfully so. There's the knee. Wait a minute. What the hell? Awesome Kong just reappeared behind her. Look at the big quick work of awesome massive power bomb coming out of Nala Rose. Is that enough to put away Awesome Kong? No, there's the kick out by the beast. Definite frustration building inside of Nyla Rose here, Hoss. Uh, it's so difficult that we're getting Kong confused with Kong and Rose confused with Kong and Kong confused with Rose. And are they both called Beast? I'm not they sure. They are Beasts. Oh, both are Beasts. No oh! The strength! The strength of Nyla Rose with that German suplex was trying to put her away, but no dice. Great kick out. Trying to knock her out. No dice. Uh oh. Here comes Nyla Rose. Awesome Kong with a kick to the midsection. Up and around, taking her right down to the mat. Oh, mighty, mighty boss tongue clothesline. Getting that meaty claw deep into the shoulder muscles, the tendons, the joints, everything. Oh! Beautiful job on the kick, but is that enough to put away Awesome Kong? Here's the cover and the kick out! Great job by Awesome Kong. Oh God, please Kong to the top turnbuckle. Oh no, please no. Has her up in the fireman's carry. Well, the cover here on Kong, one. And the kill is she's still alive. <laughs> Both these women just... Domination oh. incarnate. Oh! That's gotta be it for Karma, or an awesome song. And she still manages to kick out, you son of a bitches! Nyla Rose getting on the offense, but still not able to come away. I don't know what... Nyla Rose coming up with a bat! He's got a goddamn bat! At least she's not Kip Sabian holding it. That man can't aim for a whole country mile. She's getting ahead of herself. She's getting too cocky. Oh, wait a minute, Karma, or Kong, whatever. For the cover. One, two, wait. And the kick out by Rose. Oh, she wasn't gonna kick out there for a second. Of course, Nyla Rose, just as determined as ever to become the AEW Women's Champion. Well, these women just taking it to each other. She about to toss? Awesome! Kong, how'd she do that? Just toss it! <clears throat> She's looking to do this once again. Oh! Had her scouted! No dice there! Nyla Rose with the reversal into the DDT. For the cover here on Awesome Kong to be 
become the women's champ and the kick out again by Kong. Oh, okay. I right, bitch. On the roofs. What's this? Oh, and she drives it. Trying to go for the cover here. And another kick out by Kong. Pro's got this. <laughs> Wolfgang 12. What's this here? She goes with another native valley driver. There we go. That sounds better. Nyla Rose headed to the top. Once again, she's looking to crush her. Oh my god! She did! One! Two! We might have a new champ here! No! And Kong kicks out! My god! Ooh, had that scouted. I don't know what she was looking for though. Oh, and there's a discus clothesline. What is it going to take to put Awesome Kong away in this huge women's championship match here at Double or Nothing, Hoss? I have no idea. These women are just behemoths. Here goes Nyla Rose. Oh, and Kong gets the foot up. Oh, she's trying. What's this? Oh my god! No, 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 she taps! Karma! Kong is the new women's champ! That torture rack! I don't think she did it! Awesome Kong taps out Nyla Rose in the torture rack. Even getting her up for that is extremely impressive. This whole match was impressive. Understatement. We are going to have to take a quick commercial break. Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. Nyla Rose was at 100%. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take one more commercial. Here, here going into our main Moxley and Kenny Omega for the AEW World Championship. The Queen. Shiny. Wonder if she'll have a Matt Hardy reign. I don't know. Depends on how management feels about this one. Right on. <clears throat> I, I, I turned the entrances on. I don't know what's going on there. It's got you forgot to do it. Oh, I did it. I did it. Sure you did, pal. Come on now. I've actually um, oh, I'm all night. found a really good way of, I've found a really good way of doing it. I'll tell you about it after we finish up. Alrighty then, here we go. The main event, Moxley versus Omega. And it looks like Omega got a new hair job. New dye and everything. That is some bleach blonde bullshit right there. Welcome back to Double or Nothing. What a main event here, Haas. Let's get your thoughts. Both these men bring a very different style to the ring. Kenny Omega is excessive, high flying, striking, while John Moxley is the platinum definition of a brawler. Very different styles. I don't believe they're allowed to get any weapons involved in the match, which leans it quite heavily towards Kenny Omega. Mm -hmm. You don't get the name Best Bout Machine for nothing. 
Of course, you were definitely on the side of Hangman Page. Mega face him. Well, Who do you got in this match? I'm going to have to go Omega. Dean Ambrose works a lot better in a... Moxley. In a an extreme rules environment. As and the poll is up, who will be the new world heavyweight champion? Vote now as we ring for this huge main event. Vote, vote Omega. Just do it. What's this guy? And the crowd has erupted here. Jesus Making Christ. His way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds. Of course, Dean Ambrose Dean normally Ambrose. comes through, though. Through. Whatever. You change the play, I'll change the cola. <laughs> but quite used to coming through the crowd. I don't know what's changed here tonight. No one knows. Of course, his cousin is on ORW. My known as the Anarchist. Sure. This is going to be a group of these two. Moxley, uh, two weeks ago, attacked Kenny Omega right after his match. This crowd has not sat down since the first matchup. Now we're going to get this epic entrance coming out of Kenny Omega. Well, that hair does definitely Andrew not Punk, match. Canada, weighing in at 229 pounds, Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega making his way to the ring, a former IWGP champion from <coughs> Japan. No. That shirt just reminded me that we haven't seen Kota Ibushi in ages. What an entrance by Kenny Omega already. <laughs> this poll is definitely leaning towards the favor of John Moxley here, Haas. Bastard. No, we already seen him in action. He's the new TNT champ. You're not wrong that you're also a bastard. <laughs> uh, he's just cranky. He didn't. He does, apparently his coffee isn't strong enough. But I I this is gonna be. I'm not allowed to have my coffee anymore. I scold myself the other day. <laughs> Dropped it right on his lap. What the hell is that? I Where's the damn them. logo? <laughs> a lot of production error. What the hell? Where's the belt? Well, that's finished. <laughs> we, we, you get the strap, you have to win a couple more matches to actually get the, the adorning <laughs> plates. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's a build-about. We're in a build-about <laughs> workshop. <laughs> oh my god. What a belt! Well, they're going off the roads with each other. After this build... Yeah, uh, should they finish the, the belt crowd. should be the next pull. Yeah, finish the TNT, finish the world belt. Let's, let's, let's get that out of the poll. No, the world which belt, belt didn't even start. Which belt should we finish or start? <laughs> oh, great neck and breaker coming out of Kenny Omega as they fight for the belt. There's no A. Strap. <laughs> they're, they're fighting for a strap. A strap. <laughs> Kenny Omega. Taking control of them. This is going to be unique. Oh! There was a title there. That just cross pissed off two Mitch viewers. A cross leg. Cross leg suplex. That's not what we asked you to do. Who thinks Tommy Black did something that about? Yeah, 100%. Totally did. Yeah, that's not what we asked you to do, or you're going to get fired instantly, I guarantee you. I don't think commentator oh. gets that gets to make that call. I think that's actually up to the CEO. All right, he can hop anyway. in at any given point in time. <laughs> oh, 
Here goes Kenny Omega. Beautiful suplex. Or not a suplex. Moonsault. Actually, you know what? Now looking at this pull, it wouldn't make sense. You know, the GM steps down and... Oh, the belt is all fucked up. Mmm. Let's go, Kenny. Oh! Well, it's more the belt not had anything giving me the giggles, but whatever. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh, no dice there by Kenny Omega. Here goes Sean Moxley with a snap suplex. Of course, it looks like everyone's in agreement that Tommy Black did something real time. I don't know if he did, but that time made needs something real quick. I mean, look at, for the, look at the person who just resigned. He's left all in a huff. Oh! Sparky, you saw it. Did you down. take the title with you? Or at least parts of it? Very interesting that he's deciding to leave on the first pay to crown this champion. And something helping to the belt. Very right? Serious. Oh, beautiful work there by John Moxley. Moxley looks to be in a world of hurt, though. He's taking it right to Omega. He's got a fighting, fighting spirit going on right now. That unscripted violence. Well, duh. For oh. one force that work since he hit. I voted for the world. What the hell was that? Lay down. Lay down. Of course oh, I was supposed to be on commentary, but this shouldn't be a three man boat. Nice kick out there by Kenny Omega. He tried. Oh. Okay, sweetheart. Of course, both these men using a very impressive finisher with a very high finish rate. <laughs> Paradigm shift and the one named Angel both being kicked out of. Rarely, if ever. Exactly so. Wow, thank you, everybody. Oh, I bet you did. Oh, here he yep. goes. Looking for a perfect plex. Does he have it? Of course. Oh. It wasn't me. I didn't touch the belt. Okay, Shaggy. And that we caught it on camera. I think you did it in the shower. Oh! Well, beautiful job on the. <laughs> John Moxley really taking it to Kenny Omega here in this AEW belt match. He's going to be holding up a very. Very, very horrible belt. Here he goes. John Moxley, does he have the paradigm shift? Looks oh, like put away Kenny Rock. Omega. Oh! Oh my god! Paradigm shift kicked out of Not only that, we have the former AEW general manager now implicated. The man that was here just earlier tonight. Daniel Fowler. Maybe he left with the belt. Oh! Oh, he's trying! 
Oh, wait a minute. Moxley with the reversal. Beautiful clothesline. Of course. World heavyweight. Everyone thinks that the first belt to be fixed should be the world heavyweight belt. Oh, <laughs> no surprise. Right on shift. One, two, three, and John Moxley's the A strap holder. Strap God holder. Damn. God damn it. Now that's that like belt was finished. Cold. I'm not sure if they're like drilling it in on the side there or if they're just gonna give him the black strap. But I don't wanna I don't wanna have to say John uh, John Moxley put the black strap on. Here comes John Moxley with the strap. What a great championship we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations indeed, John Moxley, the first strap holder. <laughs> the inaugural strap holder. World champion, D. Oh, congratulations as he's holding up the black strap. <laughs> what the fuck? It was finished when I looked at it. Who gave us this? I'm crying here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Double or Nothing here on Twitch. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did, and congratulations to John Moxley on becoming the World Heavyweight Strap Holder. If you if you enjoyed the show, tune in tomorrow night for Monday Night Raw, and definitely subscribe to us for five ninety nine a month. That is the honor package, as we call it. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Order Entertain One. And we would love to hear from you. Go ahead and go over to YouTube and follow us over there, Order Entertainment Enterprise. Folks, this was a happening here tonight. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. You got any thoughts before we sign off here, ladies and gentlemen? You too. I would just like to say thank you to everybody for allowing me to be the GM of AEW for the time that I was and I hope that you guys continue to tune in and I will pop on up on commentary as the COO occasionally and Haas I've been big Haas I've been representing the Lone Star State I'm part of the foreign commentary announce team I've been here this has been double or nothing for now and I'm the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black. Good night, everybody. And oh my god. That's right.